Hello friends, in this particular video lecture, we will try to understand the theorem which is known as RSA algorithm along with some example. So, basically, what it means by RSA algorithm, it will give us the support to calculate the values for the public key cryptography. So what it means by public key cryptography? We are familiar with the term cryptography. Cryptography is nothing but conversion of a one form to the other form and so that our message will become secret message. So converting the input into some form of the output is known as encryption and Again, converting the other form of that particular output into the original message. That means if I want to decrypt the message, that means if I want to catch the original message as it is, then conversion from output to in input is nothing but decryption. So the process of encryption and decryption combinedly known as cryptography. So this is nothing but the term cryptography. Now what it means by the public key cryptography? Whenever for the process of encryption and decryption, we are going to use the different keys, then that particular algorithm is known as the public key cryptography. So here for the process of the encryption, the sender or receiver both can use the public key, but for the process of decryption, only receiver is able to use a key which is known as private key. And hence here both the keys are used but they are not going to exchange the private key so that this particular message transmission is much more secure than that of the private key cryptography. And so it is very essential to study the RSA algorithm which is going to support the public key algorithm that means public key cryptography. Hence as it will use public key it uses the two keys for encryption and decryption. Private key is used for the encryption consider as K1. Public key is used for the decryption consider as K2. So the public key and private key both are going to use and private key is known as K1 and public key is known as K2. Hence here we are interested to calculate the values of K1 as well as K2 to find out the input and output. Now we all know that in the cryptographic language, the input is known as plain text and the output is known as cipher text. So to convert plain text into cipher text, we are going to use public key that is K2 and to convert cipher text into the plain text, we are going to use the private key that is K1. So with the help of K1 and K2, now our aim is to calculate the plain text and cipher text. So if keys are in your hand, how can you get back your message into the original form? How can you encrypt the message? How can you decrypt the message? This is nothing but a total basic idea behind RSA algorithm. So there are few steps to calculate the RSA algorithm. What are they? First of all, select the large prime numbers P and Q in such a way that P should not equals to Q. So this is the first condition that we require to select the two numbers. Both should be prime. So this is again one condition and prime means what? Who GCD is one. So and both are not equals to each other. So both the numbers should be different. Then step number two, calculate the total number n is equal to p into q. Three, select public key k1 as it should not the factor of p minus 1 into q minus 1 and gcd of this answer p minus 1 into q minus 1 will be the answer and gcd of answer and public key that is k1 that must be 1 so this is the step number 3 that once you will calculate n that is nothing but p into q you have to again go and calculate p minus 1 into q minus 1 and that answers 
एंड जी सी डी ऑफ के वन शुड बी वन सो दिस इज द थर्ड स्टेप फोर्थ वन इज सिलेक्ट पब्लिक की के टू इन सच अ वे दैट के टू इन टू के वन मोड ऑफ टी माइनस वन इन टू क्यू माइनस वन शुड बी वन नाउ वी आर हैविंग के वन इन अवर हैंड के वन वी हैव कैलकुलेट इन द स्टेप नंबर थ्री सो वी आर हैविंग के वन इन अवर हैंड सो नाउ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड आउट के टू इन टू के वन मॉड पी माइनस वन इन टू क्यू माइनस वन शुड बी इक्वल्स टू वन वी आर हैविंग पी इन अवर हैंड क्यू वी नो के वन वी नो सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन वी आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर फॉर के टू स्टेप नंबर फोर सिलेक्ट पब्लिक की के टू एज के टू इन टू के वन मॉड ऑफ पी माइनस वन क्यू माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी आर हैविंग पी क्यू एंड के वन इन अवर हैंड एंड वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ के टू नेक्स्ट वन कैलकुलेट द साइफर टेक्स यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला प्लेन टेक्स रेस टू के वन मॉड एन नाउ वी आर हैविंग के टू इन अवर हैंड सो वी आर एबल टू कैलकुलेट द साइफर टेक्स एंड प्लेन टेक्स सो यूजिंग द प्लेन टेक्स विच इज गिवन इन यूर एग्जाम्पल वी आर एबल टू कैलकुलेट वॉट साइफर टेक्स एंड यूजिंग द साइफर टेक्स वैल्यू अगेन वी आर एबल टू वेरीफाई वेदर अवर आंसर्स आर करेक्ट और नॉट वाई बिकॉज यूजिंग द साइफर टेक्स वी आर अगेन एबल टू कैलकुलेट द प्लेन टेक्स एंड विच इज गिवन इन अवर एग्जाम्पल सो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द स्टेप्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल सो द एग्जाम्पल इज सेंडर एंड रिसीवर सेंडर ट्राई टू ट्रांसमिट सम मैसेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ द प्लेन टेक्स सो दिस इज द प्लेन टेक्स हाउ मेनी बिट्स और वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द प्लेन टेक्स थर्टीन इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द प्लेन टेक्स नाउ थर्टीन इज द वैल्यू मीन्स हाउ मेनी बिट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लेन टेक्स थर्टीन बिट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लेन टेक्स सो द साइज ऑफ द प्लेन टेक्स दैट आइडिया इज गिवन टू अस नाउ Select two prime numbers p and q in such a way that p should not equals to q. That was our step number one. So what we have to do? What is our aim? Our final aim is to calculate the cipher text. So we are having the value of plain text. Now we are interested to calculate the value of the cipher text. That means how many bits will be present in the cipher text? So I will try to select the two prime numbers p and q. So let us consider p is equal to three and q is equal to eleven. Why? Because three and eleven both are prime, and both are not equals to each other. So both the conditions are get satisfied. Second, calculate total number n in such a way that n is equal to p into q. So here n is equal to p is three and q is eleven. So three into eleven is equal to Thirty-three. So this is our step number second. Step number three is select public key K one as it should not the factor of P minus one into Q minus one. So what I have to select a public key. So first of all, I will try to calculate P minus one into Q minus one. So we all know that value of p is three and q is eleven, which we have considered in the step number one. So three minus one into eleven minus one, that is two into ten, is equal to twenty. So we are getting such kind of answer. Now we are interested to find out the value of k one. How can we calculate? We have to find out such a value which is not a factor of twenty, and the GCD of that value. And three should be one. Why three? Because that particular key I am going to select as three. Why? I will tell you. The factors of twenty. If I want to calculate the factors of twenty, how can I calculate it? Twenty into one. Second is ten into two. Third is four into five. So I cannot calculate more factors rather than this three. So here. The number three is not present in all the factors. So first of all, I can select the value of k one is equal to three. What is the next step? The GCD of answer comma k one. What is the answer? P minus one q minus one is equal to twenty. So GCD of twenty comma k one, which we try to select, that must be one. If not, then we have to go and select the other key for the k one. So if you are going to observe. The highest, greatest common divisor in between twenty and three is one. So this condition is also get satisfied. So 
as the both conditions are get satisfied first is it is not the cofactor of 20 and gcd of 20 comma 3 is 1 hence we are able to select the value of k1 is equal to 3 now we are getting the value of k1 what is the next step select public key this is nothing but what private key now we are interested to select the public key in such a way that k2 into k1 mod of p1 minus q1 is equal to 1 so we are having k1 p q in our hand we are interested to find out the value of k2 so k2 into 3 mod of 20 is equal to 1 now how can we find out this particular value of k2 now try to select the different values of k2 should not be 0 any key should not be 0 because key is nothing but that particular bits which will provide us to decrypt the message so k2 can be first of all we will try to select k2 value is equal to 1 so what will happen if you are going to select the value of k2 is equal to 1 it implies try to put up the value 1 into 3 mod of 20 is equal to 1 whether it is true if i am going to divide the answer 3 by 20 then i will never get the remainder 1 why because this value is less than that of this value so what we have to do try to select the value of k2 in such a way that that answer will gives you the greater value than that of 20 so what can i do if i am going to select k2 is equal to 2 i am getting 2 into 3 6 which is less than 20 so i will never use that 2 k2 is equal to 3 3 into 3 9 again less than 20 k2 select as a 4 4 into 3 again 12 less than 20 select k2 is equal to 5 5 into 3 15 less than 20 k2 is equal to 6 6 into 3 18 less than 20 if you are going to select k2 is equal to 7 that implies 7 into 3 which is nothing but 21 and which is greater than 20 so that you can divide it so mod 20 and try to find out whether it is able to satisfy the condition is equal to 1 or not if not then you have to go to calculate other value for k2 but here if you are going to divide 21 by 20 then we all know that the remainder will be 1 and only and because of this thing the k2 value we can select as 7 if here you are not getting reminder is equal to 1 then you have to follow the same procedure again and again up to you are not getting the value 1 of this particular equation so here the value of k2 is equal to 7 which is nothing but the true condition which is satisfied to us so we have to compute the values up to we are not getting the remainder is equal to 1 why because that is nothing but the condition so value of k1 is become 3 value of k2 is become 7 so we are getting both the public key as well as private key so with the help of all that values we are interested to calculate the cipher text that is actually the encrypted text cipher text can be calculated as plain text raised to k1 mod n so cipher text is equal to plain text is already given in our example that is 13 raised to 3 mod 33 now its answer is 19 how can we calculate this particular value or the expressions 13 raised to 3 become 2197 2197 mod 33 is our actual calculation so what we have to do divide 2197 by 33 so if you are going to divide it you will get some answer that will be 66.5757 now subtract the real term of the answer so what is the real term 66 so subtract that particular value then you will get the answer 0.5757 then multiply with the help of mod value to that answer so whose mod we are interested to calculate 2197 by 33 so multiply the value 0 0.5757 by 33 and you will get the final answer that is nothing but 19. So the cipher text value is 19 that is the number of bits present in the cipher text are 19. Now you are here getting the actual answer 
But if I want to verify whether I am getting the answer is correct or not, then I can verify it by calculating plain text. Why? Because plain text value is already given in the example and that is what? That is 13. So if I am going to verify the answer, how can I verify? Plain text can be calculated as cipher text raised to k2 mod n. The value of k2 was 7. What we have calculated? The value of cipher text was 19. Just we achieved that value. So 19 raised to 7 mod 33. Again you have to follow this procedure. That is you have to first of all follow the 19 raised to 7. That answer. Then that answer you require to divide by 33. You will get again some answer. So in that subtract the real terms and you are getting point answer that means zero point some answer so finally multiply this answer by 33 you will get the answer 30 so same procedure or the steps which we have used for the calculation of this 2197 mod 33 that same steps we have to use for the calculation of 19 raised to 7 mod 33 and you are getting the answer 13 and which is nothing but what your plain text which is given in the example so with the help of the verification you are able to say that the answer of a cipher text is correct why because after put up in the value of the cipher text you are getting the as it is plain text so this is nothing but what cryptography conversion of one form to other form and again get back the previous form as it is with the help of decryption so both the process of encryption and decryption are getting satisfied over here so what is the conclusion with the help of this example it is an asymmetric algorithm what we have stated in the first slide that is it is the asymmetric cryptography that is the public key cryptography why because it uses the two keys for the encryption and decryption process and hence it is also known as the asymmetric algorithm hence cipher text size what is the value or the size of the cipher text 19 which is more than that of the plain text size the plain text value is 13 so the asymmetric algorithm is nothing but the public key cryptography and here this says that if you are going to use the public key cryptography for the encryption and decryption process then you are achieving the cipher text size is more than that of the plain text size and yes you are going to satisfy the condition why because cipher text size is 19 in our example and plain text size is 13 and both the ways we try to verify the plain text and cipher text we are getting the each other values so that the answers are correct and the second thing is that as it is an asymmetric algorithm this particular condition is again get satisfied with the help of the equation so here we are able to calculate the rsa algorithm with the help of this conclusion thank you